Welcome to Managing a Shift Work Schedule, part of the Healthy Sleep, Healthy Life series. I'm Dr. Lawrence Epstein. In this video, you'll learn about why shift work can be so hard, how shift work affects performance and health, and what you can do as a shift worker to improve your alertness and sleep. Shift work describes several work patterns that occur outside of the usual daytime work hours. These include night shifts, extended shifts, rotating shifts, and other irregular schedules. About 15 million Americans, or 20% of the workforce, perform shift work. It can affect you in two main areas, alertness and ability to sleep. Shift work can cause you to have decreased alertness on the job, which increases your risk of errors, workplace accidents, and motor vehicle crashes. As a shift worker, you're also likely to get less sleep and to have poor sleep quality. This leads to sleep deprivation, which increases your risk for health problems such as high blood pressure, heart disease, diabetes, and obesity. Why does the time of day when you work have such a big impact on how you feel and perform? The answer is that we are built to be awake during the day and asleep at night. Our sleep-wake system determines the timing of alertness and sleep. We run into problems when we don't follow the rules of that system. Let's look at why this happens. How alert you feel at any time is determined by the interaction of several factors, including what time of day it is, how long you've been awake, and how much sleep you get each night. Our body's internal clock, the circadian rhythm, helps us adapt to our planet's 24-hour light-dark cycle. This internal clock produces two peaks of sleepiness during the 24-hour day. Sunlight coordinates the timing of the clock, synchronizing the sleep-wake cycle to the light-dark cycle. The largest peak of sleepiness occurs at night, when it's dark, causing us to sleep at night. The brain signals the start of this sleep period by producing a compound called melatonin. There's also a smaller peak of sleepiness in the afternoon. If we don't get enough sleep at night, this peak gets bigger and we get sleepy during the daytime. Low points of sleepiness represent times of high circadian alertness, which occur mostly during the daytime. The next major factor that impacts alertness is amount of sleep. Not getting enough sleep leads to sleep deprivation, which increases sleepiness, reduces alertness, and impairs performance. Whether you stay awake for too long or simply fail to get enough sleep, the negative impact on alertness and performance is the same. Sleep deprivation leads to problems with concentration, reaction time, and learning. In addition, chronic sleep deprivation can contribute to poor health. To function at your best, you should get seven or more hours of sleep on a regular basis, and you should try to perform your work during the circadian peaks of alertness. While working a night shift, you run into problems because your schedule conflicts with your body's sleep-wake system. Staying awake at night during the peak of circadian sleepiness is difficult, resulting in drowsiness at work. When you go home after a night shift, you're exposed to sunlight, which promotes alertness. Light also suppresses the production of melatonin, blocking the sleep signal that your brain sends to the rest of your body. When you try to sleep during the daytime, when circadian alertness is high, your sleep is shorter and more fragmented, resulting in chronic sleep deprivation. Insufficient daytime sleep makes it even harder for you to remain alert and productive during a night shift. A shift work schedule causes you to be out of sync with your body's sleep-wake system. Let's look at some ways to reduce the negative impact of this problem. First, here are a few general rules. Be sure to set aside enough time to get seven or more hours of sleep on a regular basis. Maintain a healthy lifestyle by exercising regularly and eating a healthy diet. Set up your bedroom to promote sleep by eliminating as much light as possible. Use dark shades or curtains and remove electronics that emit light. Follow a regular schedule as much as possible by going to bed and waking up at the same times each day. Protect your sleep. Don't schedule appointments or activities during your sleep time and enlist the help of your family to protect your sleep. And finally, take a short nap before going to work. Sleep reduces sleepiness and improves alertness as you start your shift. There are additional strategies you can implement to improve your alertness during a night shift. Caffeine is a stimulant that increases alertness. Frequent small amounts of caffeine have the best effect. However, it is important for you to stop taking caffeine before the end of your shift 
Otherwise, caffeine will make it harder for you to fall asleep when you get home. Light has a stimulating effect, so you should keep your work environment brightly lit to help you stay awake. Exercise also can improve alertness. So when you feel sleepy, get up, move around, and if possible, do some light exercise. This has the added benefit of improving your overall health. Another way to improve alertness is to take short naps during breaks at work. Naps are best if you're feeling very sleepy. Just beware that it takes a while to get back to full alertness when you wake up. It is important to focus on your safety and your sleep before and after your night shift. Shift workers have higher rates of motor vehicle crashes, so if you are sleepy, don't drive home after your shift. Arrange for someone to pick you up or use public transportation, a cab, or a ride-sharing service. You will feel an increased pressure to go to sleep after being awake during a night shift. Don't waste this opportunity by running errands or doing chores after your shift. Go home and go to sleep to take advantage of this increased sleep pressure. Make sure that your bedroom is dark and quiet. Now let's outline a schedule that can help you maximize sleep and alertness while working a night shift. Take a 30 minute nap two hours before the start of your shift. Get 15 minutes of bright light exposure each hour for the first four hours of your work shift. Periodically consume small amounts of caffeine for the first four hours of your shift. Wear sunglasses or amber tinted glasses on the ride home from work to reduce light exposure. Go to sleep within two hours of ending your shift. Keep the same sleep schedule on days off or, optionally, go to bed no more than four to five hours earlier on days off, but don't completely go back to a normal nighttime sleep schedule. Sleep in a very dark room and get sunlight exposure after you wake up. If you have a lot of trouble tolerating your schedule, you may benefit from use of a medication to improve your alertness or your sleep. You should only take a medication under the supervision of a doctor. If you're still having problems after trying the steps outlined in this video, then you should talk to a board-certified sleep medicine physician for additional help. In summary, there are strategies you can follow before, during, and after a night shift to improve your sleep and alertness. This will also improve your workplace performance and safety. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to talk to your doctor or take a sleep disorder screening survey if you have any concerns about your sleep. Healthy sleep is essential for your health, safety, and well-being.